Hey, what's up? This is Scott with Level Up Tuts, and today we're going to be getting into some basic uh, conditional stuff, which is really cool because Compass makes this stuff nice and easy and really interesting, to be honest. Uh, I really like sort of the way that they approach it and all sorts of great stuff that you can do. So, in the last tutorial, we showed you all the different operators um, and how nice those are. Well, now we're going to get to put them to use. So, let's say we want to say, um, let's turn this back to true, just because that makes a little bit more sense in this context. So let's say that we want to yell only if the person is true. We want to yell their name if the person is true, okay? So we're going to say, we're going to say yell 25 if person is true. Okay, and while this is really cool, it's like reading a sentence. You're saying you're going to yell if the person is true, if the person is there, or maybe if the person is yes, whatever you want. But let's click over here to see what it did in our JavaScript. It says, if person equals true, then run this function. Cool. Well, what if we would say, if uh, the person is true and name isn't Scott, save this, it's going to compile, and now it's going to write this for us, if person isn't true and name is Scott, yell 25. So right now it would not be yelling because my name, of course, is Scott. Okay, but what if we wanted to do this in a little bit more of like a uh, normal JavaScript way that you're sort of used to? You can also write this in a way, if person is true, or let's just try isn't, if person isn't uh, false, yell Scott. Okay, so now if the person isn't false, it's going to yell Scott. And this is more like what you're used to seeing. It looks a little bit more like if if person is um, isn't false, which is sort of a weird thing to say. But if the person isn't false, then yell Scott. Okay, so this is uh, going to compile uh, to the same exact thing as if you were to say yell if the person isn't false. You'll see no change here. Okay, well that's really cool because it gives you a couple options, but uh, more importantly, I think this is very, uh, this reads more like a sentence, which is something that I've, I've mentioned that I do like about CoffeeScript um, and just sort of what it has to offer here. You could also do this another way. You could say, if person isn't false, uh, just like we had it before, and then you could say, then yell Scott. And now if we say this, you'll see the same thing twice here. If person isn't followed, yell Scott. But this is just another way of writing it. Again, it's a little bit more conversational. It's a little bit more like a sentence that you would read. Um, again, you can also use uh, some other things you could say. So actually, this is actually supposed to be, the argument's supposed to be my age um, anyways. So let's put my age in here, and then let's do something. You could say, um, let's set my age here, and we want to... Let's pull this out of here. We can say, um, let's say age is equal to 25, and then yell is just going to alert my name and age. Uh, and we're just going to remove the argument here entirely. Okay, so this is our new function. Uh, not a lot's changed. But now we want to say, if age, and you can just do the greater, sign, greater than sign, um, is let's say it's greater than if the age is greater than 24 then yell we save this we check it out it's going to yell if your age is greater than 24 which it will yell so uh, that's great it's so easy uh, it's really awesome and you could also say uh, let's say you could uh, let's try this we could say yell oops let's not pass anything uh, unless age is greater than 24. So we're going to say yell unless the age is greater than 24. So this is going to actually negate this right here. We're going to say if uh, the age essentially is not greater than 24, then yell. So uh, this unless is sort of an inverse of if. So yell if age is 24, it's going to do the normal, and then unless is going to be the inverse of that. Okay, so these are some really basic conditionals, right? Um, so if you wanted to just check anything, you know, you have your is, isn't, not, 
and or true yes on false no off and then uh, so that's that's pretty much it. Conditionals are really nice and easy. It's almost common sense. If you're going to say your sentence out as what you want your conditional to check, it's almost what you're going to be typing in CoffeeScript. And as always, uh, make sure you know if you're unsure about what you're typing, you know, get a code coloring. I, I'm using Sublime Text. It's CoffeeScript. Uh, I think it's just downloaded with the package. Um, I don't know it's the package manager or the package control that. Uh, Sublime Text 2 has. And that really makes it nice and easy. You can tell if something's supposed to be, uh, or if it's a keyword or not. Okay? So that's conditionals in CoffeeScript. There is more cool stuff with conditionals in CoffeeScript we're going to be going over. In the next lesson, we're going to talk about what the existential operator is. It's a pretty cool thing. It's really uh, sort of a different, it's nice and interesting, and it doesn't take that long to explain. Okay? If you have any questions or comments, leave a comment on the video or let us know what you're thinking. Um, as always, you know, we do these in our spare time. We want to make these as best as we can. Uh, but of course, we don't have unlimited resources to do that. So uh, we rely on the, anybody who's watching this to say what they want to see and what we could be doing better. Okay. Uh, once again, this is Scott and thanks for watching. Bye.